everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariana, and if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, that'd be great. I'm very excited because today we are making vegan pizza. Now, I got this recipe from Sarah Jane Betts. I have been watching her channel for quite some time. Now, she is from Australia, which is why I call it Australian vegan pizza. I'm not quite sure where she got it. She posted it on her channel, and I was like, oh my god, that looks so good, I have to try it. I did, and my whole entire family fell in love with it. Now, my dad doesn't like butternut squash, but he's the oddball out. <laughs> So here are our basic ingredients. The basil is standing in for the pesto we are about to make. First, we're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350. Then we are gonna come over to our butternut squash and cut it in half. Now these are difficult to cut, so just make sure that your fingers are never under the blade and basically just start dicing. Now I am no chef, so <laughs> try not to judge too hard about how I'm doing this. I do it differently every single time. <laughs> Then take your coconut oil and drizzle it in the bowl. Mix it all up so every piece is covered. Move it aside and prepare your pan. I like to use parchment paper so the pan doesn't get dirty. Dump on my butternut squash and separate them so none of them are on top of each other. Now I like to put it in the oven for about 40 minutes but it really is up to you and how soft you want them to be. Now time for the pesto. What you're gonna need is one and a half cups of fresh basil with no stems, juice half a lemon, three eighths cups of extra virgin olive oil, one fourth cup hemp seeds, one and a half large cloves of garlic, half a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, three eighths teaspoon of sea salt, and a bit of cracked pepper. Now blend for about two minutes. Scrape down the sides about halfway through. Then high five yourself because you're done. How easy was that? Woo! Okay. Well, I'm not, not going to nick, nick, you know, not in me. Bam! Vegan pesto. Now we're going to take the rest of our ingredients and pretty much just dice them up as well. I'm cutting this tomato horribly, but whatever. I'm gonna rip open the bag of spinach and start taking off the stems of those as well. There we go, we're all ready to make the pizzas, but unfortunately we still had about 10 minutes left. So I did what I usually do and found something else to eat while I danced around to absolutely zero music. Like a weirdo, but Oh well. When the timer did go off, I used a fork to test the softness of the squash before pulling it out of the oven. Using a fork, I picked up the parchment paper to dump the butternut squash back into the bowl and started assembling my pizzas. Now, it's a pizza. I'm not gonna try and tell you how to do it, but for me, I found the best way was to put the pesto first, then the spinach, followed by some tomatoes. And before putting in the butternut squash, I threw in some black pepper mixed it all up, and threw those on. Topped it with some cheese to buckle it in, and finish it off with some garlic salt. Throw it into the oven for about 10 minutes or however long it takes to get the kind of crisp you want. Here we go again with me eating while waiting and talking to my grandmother. Fun fact, if you have any leftover butternut squash, you can throw it into the refrigerator to save it for a quick and easy snack. And just when I thought they were done, I pulled them out and looking at them, they were still kind of soft. So I backed myself up and put them right back in the oven for about two more minutes. As you guys saw earlier, this is Tara, my grandmother's dog. She's nothing but trouble. The timer went off and I pulled them back out of the oven and saw that they were just the right amount of crisp that we wanted. So we were excited. And guys, I have been making these pizzas since 2018, and honestly, every single time I make them, they get even better. I don't know how it's possible. I'm not just saying this. Yeah, they look wonky, but trust me, it's probably the best pizza I think I've ever had. Okay, <laughs> I apologize for the lighting. The sun has gone significantly down, but with that being said, I like to cut my pizza in half. Judge me all you want. That's just how I like to eat it. I already know how this is going to taste, but for the sake of the video. Mm. Holy crap. <laughs> it's literally 
Like, ugh. It's so good. Like every single time too. I don't know what it is about the flavors. Maybe even the textures, I don't know. It's really oily because of all of the oil I put in the pesto, but it's so worth it, bro. Like crap. All right, I'm gonna stop eating for a second and talk. What would I have done differently? I probably wouldn't have put as much oil in the pesto because I mean, it's fine, it works, but it's kind of messy. What went well? The timing of everything. I typically have the pesto pre-made, so I don't have as much to do while I'm waiting for the butternut squash to cook. I typically just sit around and wait for it. But this time it actually worked out really well, the timing and everything. I probably look like an idiot smashing my face with oily pizza and wacky lighting with a bunch of acne on my face, but I don't care because that's how good this is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already and you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified whenever my videos go up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.